Look around your surroundings, the country, and even the world. Problems are everywhere, and problems are meant to be addressed. The world needs people that are passionate in serving the social sector and being a man and women for others. I am talking about social entrepreneurs who will help us find new avenues towards social improvement as we enter the next century. Considering the definition of Martin and Osberg, Social entrepreneurs should be understood as someone who targets an unfortunate but stable equilibrium that causes the neglect, marginalization, or suffering of a segment of humanity, who brings to bear on this situation his or her inspiration, direct action, creativity, courage, and fortitude. While J. Gregory Dees defined social entrepreneurs with a social mission who perceive and assess opportunities and play the role of change agents in the social sector. With those definitions, I can consider this person who is one of the successful and known by every social entrepreneur in the Philippines. Social Entrepreneurship When I heard that word, Antonio Meloto is the first person that comes in my mind. If you haven't heard his name yet, I bet you know Gawad Kalinga Community Development Foundation. Yes, he is the founder behind the Enchanted Farm, a social enterprise incubator that has propelled the Philippines into a spotlight as the Silicon Valley of social enterprises. From his humble beginnings, it is already in him to help people. Being an academic scholar graduate in Ateneo de Manila University and a member of Couples for Christ back then, he saw the vision that God wants him to lead. Tony Meloto has already lived a good life when he was working for Procter & Gamble Group as a strategy manager for 20 years. But for his passion in helping his countrymen, and as he witnessed the unstable equilibrium faced by the unprivileged population of his country, he made a radical decision to gradually drawn in the social sector to extend his hand to these people. The Couples for Christ Outreach Program in Bagong Silang, a huge relocation site for squatters in Metro Manila, Tony saw the need of the people in basic necessities of life, both physical and spiritual. This made him realize his life purpose, and Gawad Kalinga was born. His purpose is not just to get them out from poverty, but to uplift and give hope spiritually. He perceived and assessed the situation not merely just a problem, but as an opportunity for him to make a change in the social sector of the Philippines. The future of business is in social entrepreneurship, optimizing profit that restores human dignity, protects the environment, and builds peace. With his social mission of ending poverty for 5 million families by 2024, as well as its vision of building a nation empowered by people with faith and patriotism, a nation made up of caring and sharing communities dedicated to eradicate poverty and restore human dignity, Tony Meloto is one of those extraordinary individuals who can build innovative projects destined to change the world of tomorrow. Since then, it has expanded its work to over 2,000 organized communities and has been adopted in other developing nations like Cambodia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. It is also in the forefront of peace-building work in conflict areas in Mindanao and reconstruction work in post-disaster communities. When Gawad Kalinga was formally established in 2003, numerous awards, recognitions, and appreciations were given to the founder, Antonio Meloto, and his foundation. It testifies their effort in committing to build a better world by transforming slums into peaceful and productive communities. One of the remarkable awards he has received would be the Skoll Award for Social Entrepreneurship in 2012. As the organization likes to say, it's not charity, but a national movement to eradicate poverty. 